So here we are, day one, London One Fair, and we're setting up and we're doing our live judging here, which is a first for us. We're taking the process that we use at our tasting facility and we're taking it and showing it to the trade. Our judging at the IWC is called blind judging. The judges don't know what's in the glasses. We have to number up the individual glasses for each bottle that we have here so that they then understand that, for instance, that number 162 will relate to the first number that they have on their flight sheet here. Our judges never see a bottle. They only ever see a glass with a number on the stem. That's it. They will know that the wine is a Syrah and they will know that it's from France and what vintage it is, but they will not know producer information at all and they never do in the IWSC. Literally all they see is that glass with a number on it. They don't see any of this. Uh, no peeking around the edges. They judge it purely on what they taste. They can't tell whether it's a big fancy bottle or a gold-plated label or anything like that. All they see is the wine. We've got panels of five judges. That's the smallest IWSC panel. And each panel is chaired by a master of wine. And they will sit and they'll analyse and they'll scrutinise every wine. And they come to a conclusion, which they whittle down in, uh, through a process of debate and discussion. And today we're going to come up with winners. But if it was an IWSC competition, we'd be coming up with gold, silver and bronze. I get asked a lot, how does the judging work? You know, what are you looking for? What are the score sheets like? People can actually come and see us doing it for the first time, I believe, and uh, really get a strong idea of what exactly we get up to and where these rather mysterious medals come from and how they're arrived at. I am looking for typicity. Is the wine as it ought to be? Uh, secondly, is it in balance? Uh, is it ready to drink? Uh, is it too young? But probably will be wonderful in one or two years' time. There's a tremendous number of things. Uh, basically, the idea is to tell the public generally where you've got a very special wine. All of that comes to a, a message for consumers that if you've got an IWSC um, medal label on your bottle, you've got a product you can trust. We really want people to understand that we do really take this very seriously. And so when we endorse a product, when we actually put a medal on it, it does mean something. We're right in the middle of the judging now, and they're, you know, they're using their palettes, their expertise to assess all these wonderful Syrahs and Gruner Veltliners. And I think we're nearly finished with the Syrah, so we're coming along really well. The great thing is, I think they've already figured out which is the best Syrah, but none of them know what it is. They just know its sample number. So um, we're looking forward to doing a bit of a reveal to the judges on that soon. I think the real highlights today have been the Syrah from South Africa, from, especially from Stellenbosch. We also had some fantastic Shiraz from the McLaren Vale. And then we've had some amazing Grüner Veltliner from Austria. And one cheeky little one from Canada, which was from the Finger Lakes, which was really interesting to see. Um, that they're starting to grow some really interesting, cool climate varietals out there too. For me, um, the sheer quality of the kind of purity of fruit of some of the wines was gorgeous, but particularly with the Gruner Veltliners, the whites, they've been a real joy. It's not always about price, everything being price driven, we, that's, hopefully that's behind us, it's about quality, interesting wines, well made uh, and accessible to the lucky British public. It's a personal favourite of mine, this wine, so it's, I'm delighted that everyone else finds it uh, fantastic as well. So it's a great award. Thank you very much. It's, it's really, really nice. Thank you very much. So we put so much effort in every single bottle that we produce that when we have recognition, it really makes us really proud. So uh, thank you very much. It's really a great honour. Obviously, thank you to the judges and congratulations to um, Mr. Harrington for making such a good wine. We judge wines seven months of the year. We do it slowly, we do it in a considered way, and we want to show that process today. The IWSC, to my knowledge, is the only competition where you don't actually see any bottles at all. The glasses are numbered and, um, and all we uh, have are the wines in the glasses to judge. So it's a great idea and uh, I'm all for it. People can see the total integrity of the process. They can see how the uh, wines are genuinely blind. There is absolutely no hint as to 
quality level, there's no hint as to the you know, fanciness of the bottle, fanciness of the label, or any of those sorts of things. Simply judging it on the basis of what's in the glass. This competition is, is very well known for its kind of rigour, the very fastidious nature of the judging. Everybody really respects the fact that the judging process is so thorough and so above board. And um, therefore, when wines receive their medals, I think it is, a, you know, it is very highly respected that, that people will know, and they'll know even more if they come and see us judge today, that those wines have passed through this very meticulous judging process and have come out the other side with their awards. So yes, it commands a lot of respect.